Today we're going to work on converting a Word document to a Blackboard file so that we can import it as a quiz or a test right into Schoology. In order to do this, we need to use this third-party service called Blackboard Test Generator. So to access this service, we're going to go to the link that's in the description, or you can use bit.ly slash word to Schoology, all lowercase. So what you want to do is please make sure that you have your Word document with your quiz handy because you're going to be doing a little bit of copying and pasting. So let me just go over to my state capitals kind of sample quiz that I have here. And this is a Google Doc, but it will work for a Word document as well. So when I have my Word document quiz ready to go, what I want to do is select and copy all of the questions by starting at the very bottom, clicking and dragging to highlight and select everything and then I can go ahead and right click and select copy. Then I'm going to move over to the third party service, this Blackboard test generator, and I'm going to click into the text box here, right click again, and select paste. So then you can see the five questions in my state capitals quiz have pasted over here, but I actually have to clean this up a little bit by adding the number of each question and the letter that goes for each possible answer as well. So that's a great start. This is definitely looking good. And what I want to do now is go through each question and mark the correct answer by putting an asterisk directly to the left of the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. I know that my answer key goes in the order of A, B, C, D. So I'm just going to go down each one, click into where I need to to add my asterisk and so on and so forth. And then don't forget anything that's not on the screen necessarily we want to add as well. So now what I need to do is finally name my test. I'm just going to call this US State Capitals. And when I'm ready and everything looks good, I can click Generate Test Questions. So I'm getting all green and that is good. If you did make a mistake, which I did many times when trying to create this video, you can hover your cursor over the question and it will tell you whether or not it is correct. It will also code it as red if there is an error with your submission. So as you can see here, all of it is green. So I'm getting this valid question type. So your next step is to go ahead and click download question pool. You want to make sure you click this one and not the one to the left because you need the zip file. So when everything looks good, go ahead and click download question pool. So once that downloads, it's time to head over to Schoology. So once I'm logged into Schoology, I'm simply going to enter the class for which I'd like to add this quiz. And then once I'm there, I'm going to go to add materials, add tester quiz, enter the parameters for my quiz. And then when that loads, I want to simply click add question, and then I'm going to import the test and quiz. And I want to choose Blackboard. This was actually zipped up for a Blackboard format, but it works for Schoology as well. So let's click that radio button and then hit next. Then it will ask me to import the questions. It's very easy to miss this little icon here. So go ahead and click that. And then you want to go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded your export. And then I'm going to click that and select open to import it right into Schoology. I'm going to confirm that I want to indeed import it by clicking the import button. And as you can see here, my test questions have been uploaded with their corresponding answers. If you do want to go ahead and verify that the answer has worked as well, you can click the gear and then select edit. And you should see your multiple choice responses here with the correct answer already checked because you programmed Schoology to do that by putting the asterisk in on the other service. If you want to add any more kind of finishing touches like randomize your choice or anything like that, maybe changing the point value of each question, you can do that as well. But for now, I'm good, so I'm going to save the question. And don't forget, once you get back to the screen, that if you want your students to take the quiz as soon as possible, you need to make sure that you enable it. So that is how to import a Word document quiz into Schoology. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I'd be happy to help. Have a great day.